Hey guys, Luke C here with TFB TV. We're back here at SHOT Show 2023 here down in the basement with Brad from Tipman Arms. Brad, um, I've heard you've got a new Gatling gun on the market for our Rimfire customers. Why don't you yes. tell us about it? Yeah, so this is our brand new 22 caliber belt-fed Gatling gun. We'll ship it with a 50-round uh, belt. Um, it just You clip the bullets into the belt and then you cycle it through and it pops them out right in the right spot. And you're able to cycle through about 600 rounds per minute. It's a standard Gatling gun, so you can buy it with a driver's license. Okay. Um, and it weighs about 15 pounds. Um, it'll come with 50 round belts. You can buy additional belts. Uh, come in packs of 50. Um, and uh, we expect to start shipping it in April. So as early as April. And explain for our audience, like, you can buy one of these as a Gatling gun at the age of 18, correct? Yes. Okay, so it's, what's the regulation behind that, for those who don't know? So... When they made the Gatling, when they did the NFA law back in '86, they excluded Gatling guns because of the hand crank option. Right, it's a manually operated yes, firearm. Yeah, correct. Yep. And so, I don't know why we didn't do this earlier, but <laughs> we decided to make a 22 caliber one. It kind of resembles my dad's old uh, uh, miniature Browning machine guns. We did yeah. like the tripod and the TD. Yeah, the 1919. Yeah. I think you guys did a, uh, an M2 as yeah. well, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, that's tip in arms that does yeah. that. Yeah. So mm -hmm. tip in ordinance is kind of specializes in just the the Gatling guns. Yeah. Right? So my brother is tip in arms, and so to keep us separate, we I had to change my name a little bit. <laughs> but also we do. Um, I do like turn of the century, and he's modern weaponry. Oh, so. Okay. Yeah. You're keeping it classic. He's he's the new school, right? Yeah, okay. a little right. bit of family yeah. rivalry going yeah, on there. Yeah, but we're, we're we're good brothers and everything, so it's all good. That's good. And uh, you were, we were talking a little bit before we started filming here. Uh, these barrels, where are you getting the barrels from? So, my brother Denny and I, we bought barrel making equipment when uh, our guns started getting a lot busier, and we needed to have our uh, good quality stock readily available. Because with a Gatling gun with eight barrels or a Gatling gun with uh, six barrels, you need to have a lot of barrels handy. Right, yeah, you're cycling through a lot of those as opposed to just one for every firearm you're using yeah. like, you know, yeah, six, six times six. as much. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And uh, the belt specifically, this is something uh, I know from shooting some of your, uh, you know, like the 1919, those belts are really hard to find and a lot of them aren't even produced anymore. Correct. This Gatling gun has new production belts and you're going to be selling the belts so that ideally you could make an infinitely long belt Correct. provided you have yeah. enough links. Yeah, so it comes with 50, but um, you can clip clip them together fairly easily. They just go right into the next one, like so. Okay, it's, it's like then, connects. Yep, exactly, <laughs> yep, but but for adults. But for adults, it connects for cool adults. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. So, um, uh, and so, how much can I expect to pay for one of these? So the MSRP on this gun is gonna be around $4,500. Um, and, and it, I, does that include the, the tripod as yeah, well? Yeah, so with the ATF ruling, um, since it's under the 26 inches, uh, the tripod is permanently affixed at the pintle, but okay. you can w wiggle it around on the back But end. you've got the windage and elevation adjustments in the back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can move it all around. It's not rigid by any means. It, it still pivots and swivels. and So So with the belt-fed design, this is kind of a blending again of the two worlds. Like Tipman Arms does like the 1919, the M2, which are belt-fed, but Tipman Ordnance has always done the magazine-fed Gatling guns. Can you kind of explain the difference between the more traditional top-fed magazine versus the belt-fed Gatling gun design? Well, honestly, the reason why we went with the belt fed on the 22 was there's so many varieties of uh, magazines that you could have gone right. with, and it was hard to pick. And with a magazine, you're limited, like whether it's a 50-round magazine or a 25-round magazine or something, you're limited to how many you can shoot with. And I didn't like that with the, with the, with the Glock-fed Gatling guns because it was you're limited and they get really expensive and they don't work as good when you when you're trying to ram through 100 rounds in 10 seconds and right and then of course you've got to you know take, take the trouble to load each of those magazines yeah. to carry around with you and stuff like and that. so yeah. it, it was just it was something i really wanted to try and it's uh we figured it out and i wanted to share like 50 rounds is about perfect yeah. for shooting a 22 because you, you burn through it and then you have fun with it 
Yeah, and so you just, and it's not a pain in the butt to load when you get to like 49, 50, it's, 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 it's easy. It's like just right. as easy as number one. So a lot of the dealers that I've spoke with here at the show are actually excited about it. They believe that they can get it through most of their states. Okay. California is a little iffy on the belt though. Thanks Brad for showing us the new Gatling gun. Guys, check us out on TFB and TFB TV Showtime for more from SHOT Show 2023.